Oh my god, really? It's women. Here's something you don't see every day. Middle schoolers excited about science. Well, I seen his heartbeat and I seen um his blood cells, which very hard to find. Like very hard. Deja Floyd and her classmates at Commodore John Rogers School near Patterson Park in East Baltimore are part of a program called BioEyes. What are the offspring actually going to be looking like? Teachers like Zach Carey are trained to give a one-week lesson plan about genetics, a complicated subject made easier thanks to these little zebra fish. I think the albino ones are feeling because it's bigger. Students breed two of the fish, then study their dominant and recessive traits. Why these fish? They have DNA just like humans. She's exactly right. Zebrafish are genetically a lot like humans. And we use them to study how animals develop, how fats and other nutrients move around in our bodies. And the most amazing so thing, yeah, this one is actually a strain that lacks pigmentation. So you're seeing the heart and the blood right through the adults. Wow, that's amazing. Dr. Steve Farber co-founded BioEyes 15 years ago. At the Carnegie Institution for Science, he's using the fish to research cures for heart disease. But the professor at Johns Hopkins also wants to give lower income inner city students new opportunities. We really don't do a great job in exciting young people about why science is fun, challenging and interesting. So I was driven by I wanted to teach teachers about my excitement about science and also have kids to be really thinking this is something cool that I could go into or I could become a scientist. Wait, so I catch one and he catches one? Absolutely. 4,000 Baltimore students will be exposed to BioEyes this year. A new study which examined five years of student exposure to the program found it helps fuel a positive attitude about science and increases interest in scientific careers. It makes it a lot better and a lot easier to keep attention on the subject. I want you to watch specifically what are these two different fish doing. Teachers see a difference. I think it's really t difficult to convey to like a middle schooler what would a science career look like and I think when it is something that can be hands on, kids are into that. Do you like learning science yeah. in school? Yeah, science is my favorite subject. It is? Has it always been your favorite subject or do no, things like recently. this change it recently? Yes. Programs like this are just the beginning in the search for the scientists of tomorrow. Chromium, I forgot how to say it, but it's fun. There's a lot to learn from these schools of fish that have students swimming towards new opportunities. Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News.